Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. It's another paid request. This time for Lucas, who sent in a request for me to do not one but two, but what was it six commentaries for six episodes? I will do the best I can. They're episodes of the Spectacular Spider-Man cartoon, dealing with the Venom arc. Uh, I do remember saying I liked it. But I can't say I remember anything about this show because I've only seen it once. Uh, it's like Ninja Turtles, I have a... He, last time he asked for commentaries was the 2003 cartoon. I have a more of a history. I've seen that cartoon over and over and over again. This, like I said, I've, I vaguely remember it because I've only seen it once. So I guess it would be kind of like a first reaction. Because a lot of times it you know, takes me a few times for me to commit the memory of a movie or a show but this is season one i think episode three natural selection so let's get into it and for those who want to send in any requests feel free to send them either directly to my paypal or join my patreon both links are down below in info box so here we go three two one pressing play i can't show it I know there's another guy on here that showed this stuff, but if I did it, it'd be taken down. I don't mind the animation style for this. I think the voice on Spider-Man fits very well. And yeah, I think they work, the aspects work very well. Let me check on something. Just want to make sure everything was working. There's Dr. Kurt Connors, who's going to be the lizard, based on his experiments. From way, way back to the day of Spider-Man comics. I know they introduced Kurt Connors in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man films, but eventually never did anything with him. I don't think they did. No, I mean, no, they didn't. Of course they didn't. What am I talking about? Because they did a Kirk Connors lizard in The Amazing Spider-Man. The Andrew Garfield stuff. But this one of those shows, like, every episode, there's, like, another, like, new villain from back to the day that they brought into it. I remember the stuff between him and Gwen Stacy was actually rather sweet on the show. It was nice that they sit on Gwen Stacy because usually it's Mary Jane. Cartoon wise that is. I mean movie wise other than the Amazing Spider-Man they usually go with Gwen, uh, Mary Jane as well. Like I said, it's nice that they went with uh, Gwen Stacy here. Yeah, Aunt May seems a bit yonder here, just like in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. I mean, yeah, her hair is white, but her face seems a lot younger than you would think for Aunt May, so... Way before they did that in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. Now I don't want to go to bed. You go to bed. Stop scratching your arm, fucker. You're going to be the lizard and then you can lick my ass. Come on, Spider-Man. Put on your pants. <laughs> That's Spider-Man. Get straight pictures and they're all ruined because of the Flash. Never works out well for Spider Man, does it? Dr. Co Kirk Connors. Co yeah, Dr. Kirk Connors is having a wet dream. The worst wet dream he's ever had. But Dr. Kirk Connors, there you go. 
that was a nice way of doing his arm regeneration with the camera turning and the tendrils coming out. You know, just check. Now the face, I'm not sure because Kurt Connors kind of looks like Harry Osborne or Norman Osborne. <laughs> hey, like his face. I say his face, like if I didn't know any better, was pay attention. I thought it was like Harry or Norman Osborne, not Kurt. <laughs> Does he look at Harry Osborne? Don't he kind of look like Kirk Connors? This <clears throat> poetry <laughs> Flash Thompson being a prick. There you go. <laughs> nice use of. Wow, they remembered he got Spidey Sense. Just trust me, there's a lot of movies that will forget that. <laughs> like, what was it? Infinity War, where somehow Chris Pratt got the drop on him? I think the narration stuff helps because you had that a lot in the comics. Maybe this other needs to be introduced more into the movies than self reflection of narration. Kind of like a word balloon. I'm trying to remember who the hell that guy is. You got a deep voice. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, pinhead. I've never asked to be broke or semi. Is it broke or. <laughs> See, this did a nice balance of he's the nerdy guy, but at the same time, it's not Opie Taylor, Andy Griffith show like Sam Raimi's films did. That's why I came in the Sam Raimi Spider Man films. They just seem like Opie Taylor again, just. Fucking! I remember this being a nice addition that Eddie Brock was friends with Peter Parker, and they like here they all worked in the same science department with Kirk Connors, and they do a nice build of. I'm slowly remembering now, because throughout it, like. Peter Parker realizes that Kirk Connors is the lizard. As Peter Parker has to do stuff to fight and stop Kirk Connors. But then Eddie Brock thinks that, oh, Peter Parker did it to help his own career, help his own initiative, which wasn't the case, but he can't say it without giving away his secret identity or I just really telling Kirk Connors. A lot of that secret, so. Like, Peter Parker is missing, and they think again, oh, well, he screwed over Kirk Connors, which wasn't the case. Anyway, you either saw it or you don't care. <laughs> Looks like I got a bunch of band aids on him, but they're supposed to be st steals. Did he say wait, bro? I forgot Peter Parker said bro. Hey, bro. Let's get some Brewsties, bro. Well, you're Tom Farrell from Total Recall. Uh, Total Recall. Uh, Fright Night Remake. <laughs> but it's interesting. They do this bit of build up so it gives a bit more of this dynamic. Make it seem like a bit emotional. 
with what stuff's going on. Yeah, Tia, stop looking at porn. Yes, when he turns to a monster, he's going to tear about how you taste. And he's going to eat you with some fava beans and nice tea ante. I'm sorry, Ted. You're fucked. You're going to be eaten alive. You're going to be eaten alive. Shut up. Uh-oh. Now he's turning. Now, this design I do like of the lizard. More of the snout coming out to here. Because the Amazing Spider-Man, I hate how they made the lizard look. Where the face is more like this. F flat. I don't care if there was any comics. This lizard looks much better. I did. It looks scarier. The more pronounced snout just more looks more aesthetically it looks less silly it looks a lot less silly compared to that amazing spider-man movie <clears throat> see she's got he's got a lie about that So Peter Parker has to lie and look like an asshole so he could be the superhero and save the day and help out. I say the voice acting, the voice actor did a good job. It's a nice sort of... I always am a sucker for the 90s Spider-Man. I like that voice actor who did that, but this guy did a good job as well. Like I said, this cartoon was surprisingly good and... Damn, it's like Xenomorph. Some pretty good action scenes as well, I remember, from the show. Is he able to punch in this for what I remember? Or just got him in webs. No, knock him out. Punch him. Nope, can't even spell it. Halitosis. Can't even spell the shit. Oh, shit. Sure about that? You're the one getting your ass hit. <laughs> well, at least he admitted it. Ooh. That alley fucked up his hand. Shit. Wrap some web around your hand and punch them. Remember doing that in the video game for PlayStation 1. You wrap his web around his hands like a boxing glove and punch him. Damn, didn't his ass tit all around the train now. Hey, how's it going? Not gonna stick around for long. We'll get up this fucking train and get it. Where the asshole disappeared. Ooh, shit. Yeah, choked the some bitch. Damn. Didn't knock the fuck out. Of course, people have their phones out. I'm not surprised. 
Damn, that one with the purse is badass. Spider-Man's like, yep, she is. I'm going to knock you right through the fucking window. There you go. Look at that. Spider-Man punches. Lo and behold. Can't do that a lot nowadays. Because Disney don't like that Spider-Man punch. Can't do that. <laughs> Sadly, it's one of the issues with the 90s Spider-Man cartoon is that they would give him these stupid rules. Because Batman could do it because apparently that's more of a fantasy world. But Spider-Man can't do it because New York is more in a real world. So Spider-Man can't punch. Such weird bullshit rules in the 90s for cartoons. Such weird bullshit rules. But in this, I do remember he was able to actually punch and you do do more. Because that was a problem. Then I, as much as I like the 90s cartoon, a lot of the action scenes could just detail of just web, 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 web. Oh, did the... Okay. When she said Dr. Connors, I thought, wait, she means Kurt? Oh, she means the other Dr. Connors. I said, Eddie Brock, I do like the addition that he was good friends with Peter Parker, and they show the breakdown of that friendship. So it gives him more of an anger... Not just for Spider-Man, but for Peter Parker as well on a personal level. Like, you lied about this, and you deceived about that, and all that, blah, blah, blah. Made it a bit more interesting. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no, he's going to take him to a sex cave. Watch out. All new WB Spider-Man when he's going to get his ass drowned. Yeah, that crap don't like it. <laughs> Heated pool. I forgot how many times he said bro. Press bro. I'll go on bro. <laughs> we'll see it goes by a good pace. I mean, we only got four minutes left. Yeah, run like a son of a bitch. Run, motherfucker, run. Don't trip and fall. What are you doing? Better do some shit. You fucking asshole. You fucking phone. Always shut your phone off. That was a cool shot. With the eyes and... You get to see the lizard reflect in the spidey eyes. Just punch him. Well, now you're going to be eaten. Eat him. There you go. That was the distraction. There you go. Yeah. Oh, shit.
gives us some elbows and there you go was waiting for the punch sorry stealing that kid there you go ooh got some big old hits It might have been nice to see him wrap the other hand in web and give him like a big knockout punch, but it is what it is. Up there we go, Peter Parker. See, this is where they get pissed at Peter Parker. Especially him. That's where Eddie Brock and Peter Parker begin the split. There's a nice build up of that. Peter Parker was there as Spider Man, just take his pictures doing his job and use them to win and get the money they need for Aunt May. And these people were pissed at him. Again, it's like between a rock and a hard place, that's what Spider Man usually is. He saved the day and helped out and saved Kurt Connors. Need the money to help his Aunt May. Still get screwed over. You can't. That's Peter Parker. You can't win. You can't win. Not so easy of a decision. Yeah, you did save his life. Thanks to the web head, Kurt is teared and the kid got his father back. And that's Spider-Man in a nutshell. Does the right thing, gets screwed over, as he put it, no job, screwed over, his friends don't like him, because he had to save their ass. Josh Teton, very nice job as Spider-Man, definitely give credit to that. And that went by pretty quick, so not too bad at all, so thanks once again Lucas, take care everyone, and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye.